Hi, today we're gonna to go over drawing blood sampling from a pick line. So come along and join me. So let's begin um, drawing blood from our pick line. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is collect all the equipment that you're going to need to draw your specimens, including a biohazard bag, a couple of 10 ml syringes full of saline, um, your specimen labels, some extra clean, brand new Kuros caps, alcohol wipes, and your PPE, of course, to include a nice visor to protect your eyes. That's what I'll be wearing. If this patient is on IV fluids, we will shut them off three minutes before drawing this blood. If the patient can tolerate that, I am going to choose a port here. Uh, I will set this one aside. It's still clamped, so that's good. I do want to just make sure. Hi, Julie, can you tell me your name and date of birth? I have my two patient identifiers. They match up. I'm going to put my labels right here so I don't lose them. First thing I'm going to do is take my port here. It is clamped. I'm going to take off my Kuros one-time use. I'll throw that out. Grab an alcohol wipe. Go ahead and scrub the hub for, yep, that's right, 15 seconds. So we can fast forward that 15 seconds. I'm going to draw a waste tube via the 10 ml syringe that I'm using. You could use a extra tube. Make sure that you would label that as a waste when you begin with drawing your blood specimens. But again, in my situation, I am going to use a 10 ml syringe. Here's my saline flush. Tip is still clean from my alcohol. I'm going to just put that on there. Feels good. I'm going to unclamp, give this some flush. I don't feel any resistance at all. Feels good. Clear the line with saline. I'm going to pull back to make sure I'm getting a good blood return and enough blood that's going to be able to clear this entire line because, because it is quite long. So I'm just waiting as this fills up. It's coming out nice and easy. Okay. Excellent. I get my full 10 out. I'm going to treat this as a waste. I am disconnecting. Well, I'm going to clamp first, then disconnect. Okay. Discard the alcohol again. 15 seconds. Fast forward. You're going to use your lure lock needleless accutainer. Looks like this. It usually has the little blue connector on there. Be careful. Never, never, never put your fingers inside here because there is a very sharp needle in there. So I am going to take this because I've already cleaned it with alcohol. I'm going to connect here. My pigtail is still clamped. Once I feel nice and secure here, I am going to unclamp here. I have not touched my other two um, at this point in time, they're still both clamped. So I have nice good blood in here. I'm going to take the tube that I need to get my sample from. I'm getting some electrolytes today. I'm going to go ahead and engage into the needle itself. And as you can see, getting some good blood return there. The natural um, suction or vacuum inside this tube will pull out the blood until it's satisfied. All right, sounds good. If I had any other um, tubes to draw, I could draw them now, but I don't. So I'm gonna take this out and the clamp. 
So far, so good. Just want to invert it gently a couple times. Put it right by my biohazard bag. This is clamped. I'm going to take this off. Remember, it does have a sharp, so we'll make sure that ends up in the sharps container. I'm gonna clean my clave. 15 seconds. You can fast forward. Nice new saline. Notice how I protect that clave and hold it away from it being dangled on the bed or in contact with anything else. I open up my syringe nice and easily without, you know, touching it everywhere. I'm going to connect. It's at this point in time I undo this clamp and give it a good flush. You can kind of use that little uh, pulsating flush technique. Um, nothing too rough and there's no resistance, so this feels great. I'm going to take off the syringe, dispose of it, clamp here, and get a brand new Kiro's cap off of my line on the IV pole. Screw it on. Perfect. And it's as simple as that. I'm going to take my uh, label for the specimen. I'm going to put it on. My a tube and use my partner's ID to go on here as well. Date and time should all be on here. I'm going to do this at the bedside so we don't mix up blood or lose it or be your, you know, just this is best practice. So we'll stay here. I have my tube. Everything's flushed. Everything looks good. I have my biohazard bag and it goes. And I can put this in the pneumatic tube to send down to the lab. So, if you are curious as to what order of blood with the tubing should go first, just resort to the blood collection tube guide. Um, and if you're not sure of what to flush these um, pigtails with, we also have the IV flushing guide as well. That's it, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was helpful.